Hey everybody! It's time for this week's Facebook Friday, but it's not Friday, it's Wednesday. It's actually kind of like my Friday today. The reason we're doing Facebook Live today is because my husband is taking us to the beach for Mother's Day. So we will be gone this weekend. Yay! The only problem is that it's like 100% chance of rain Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Oh, so would you guys pray for the weather, please, on the Texas coast? <laughs> we already paid for our condo and everything, so we're going. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, today is Friday for me. We're doing Facebook Live today. Uh, I'm glad you guys found me. I was saying that um, we're headed to the beach for Mother's Day, but it's supposed to be like flooding and 100%, 90% chance of rain. Sad. <laughs> I'm trying not to be sad about it. If anything, at least I have my children in, you know, one place with me and we can have fun maybe for Mother's Day, go to the movies or something. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, good. Thanks for joining me. All right. I see lots of you jumping on. While we wait to get started, I thought I would give you guys some sneak peeks um, from the new catalog that's coming out on June 4th. You know, I was saying June 3rd and I, I was wrong. It's June 4th. So now every time I say it, I'm like nervous. I have to check. June 4th. <laughs> it goes live June 4th. Um, we have new in colors and I've talked to you a little bit about the new in colors. Um, in colors are five colors that Stampin' Up! introduces every year and they stay for two years. So right now we're getting ready to say goodbye to five colors. They will retire and leave the catalog and five new colors will come and replace them. And will you believe it? I still can't remember all their names. <laughs> the na I don't know why this year they're, they're not um, sticking with me, but um, I thought I would show you the in color cards that my team will be making on Monday at our meeting. Am I frozen, Sarah? Am I frozen for the rest of you? I don't know, you guys tell me. If you're on my Sweet Stampede team and you don't wanna know what we're making, you gotta close your eyes because I'm gonna show it. I, although I sent an email yesterday with a photo, so you might have already seen it. Um, in May every year, we make in color cards at our team meeting. And here are this year's. Look how stinking cute this is. This is a new stamp set. And of course, guys, I don't know. My mom brain is like full. I cannot remember any names for anything right now. Flying High, something like that. New stamp set. It's really cute. It has a matching punch. Um, we have some hot air balloons that I absolutely love that are retiring and they have the framelits, but this is a new set coming out that has a punch. So anyway, we're going to make each card in one of the end colors um, and you can see I'm also going to show you here a little sneak peek of some of our new um, designer series paper that is in the little in color um, packs. Okay, good. Christine says I'm not frozen there. Fingers crossed. We're not, we're not going to jinx them. I'm not going to mention the internet. Um, also, there's some really pretty ribbon. Ribbon that is super different um, than anything we've had before. So, um, here are here they are. Let's see if I can remember the names, okay? R Rococo Rose. Um, Purple Posy. I think. This is the one I can never remember. Somebody tell me what it is. I have them sitting here. Why can't I remember? I don't know. I'm going to have to tell you in a minute. It'll pop in my head. Um, soft sea spray. <laughs> oh, wait. Pretty Peacock. It entered my mind. See, I knew I would remember. We knew the names before we saw the colors. And this is Terracotta Tile, which I really like. This is a, a great um, color to go with Calypso Coral. Peacock something. <laughs> Patricia, you're like me. Peacock something. Yeah. Okay, so those, there are those. Here are the in color papers. You know, we've had these stacks in our catalogs, these six by six stacks in the color families. They are retiring. However, they're coming back with new patterns, which I love because if you're like me and you use them all the time, you're kind of getting sick of the patterns. So here they are. Um, one is not really a honeycomb, but just, I don't know, it kind of looks like wallpaper to me. And then the other side is a very light um, script. This is the purple posy. And then the other one is like a, it looks like a stitched diamond shape. Charlie is coming in. He's joining us for Facebook Friday. 
or Facebook Wednesday. Hopefully we get no deliveries today. Um, and then a gingham, of course, we love gingham. So purple posy, each um, paper stack, pack, will have four sheets of each pattern um, for each color, of the end color. So here's that pretty peacock, Rococo Rose. Now, I was able to get this because I'm a demonstrator and we get to pre-order. That's a perk of being a demonstrator. You get to um, order things early, a month early, and they always offer a ton of the end color stuff. So here is terracotta tile. And then the last one is that soft, soft sea spray. And I really thought soft sea spray would be like a, like a green, like our soft sea foam. Maybe that's why I was thinking that. But it's a very light blue. Um, it reminds me of baby, baby boy blue. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so there's that. What did I, pretty peacock, Sarah, did I say it wrong? What did I call it? Um, Tranquil Tide, it's similar to Tranquil Tide, and I probably will call it that a, a thousand times. Now, there's another pack of designer series paper in the catalog that shows, that has all five of the colors, and it's really pretty. Again, why am I not prepared with the names of these? Um, I'm going to show you one sheet while I'm sneakily looking in the catalog. It's called Woven Threads, and it's very um, kind of boho, I think, almost like um, like you would see, you know, like um, blankets, throw blankets in that kind of boho, chic-y. Look at the patterns. I absolutely love this paper. So this was one that we could pre-order, and this comes in six by six. And then, here are the back side, more textury. Um, now, one way that you can get this is if you buy the starter kit in May. Um, when you buy the starter kit, it's always a great deal. You guys know, I mean, it is the best deal in the catalog. But in May, you can get what we can get as demonstrators in your kit. You can shop from the pre-order um, and fill your $99 box with $125 of anything you want, including the pre-order stuff. So if you're interested, there's another way you can get it. If you don't want to buy the starter kit, you can join my in color club and that begins in June. And each month I'm going to send you a color kit and it's going to have everything of one color, a pack of cardstock, a marker, stamp and blend, a bolt of ribbon, um, re-inker, I can't think of all the things now. Plus, you're going to get a free embellishment. Can you guys hear him? He is a disaster. He has to come in here and scratch with his noisy collar. Um, so for five months, you do that. And by the end of the five months, you'll have everything in all the end colors. Um, and then each month, I send you an additional um, embellishment or accessory or something. It's a surprise from the catalog. So um, here is the ribbon. Look at the ribbon. Isn't it so cute? Let me get a close up. Look at that. So it's like um, mm, khaki craft color. See how it matches this craft box, by the way, another little sneak peek. Look at this. It's a tiny baby stamping up box and they're in the new catalog. Aren't they cute? It's like a little baby box that UPS brings. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I put the ribbon in there. Um, and so it comes in each of those end colors and it's super, super cute. So anyways, that's your sneak peek for today. You can get these in your starter kit in May or by joining my in color club. Um, you also get a handmade card from me. See that ribbon? You also get a handmade card from me each month. The details on my in color club, if you want to join, you can get, read all the details, all the words. Um, it's at the bottom of today's PDF, which of course is buried. Pinkbuckaroo.com, you can go over there and there's a PDF there that has today's projects, but also right here is the link. You can type it in, the link is right here. Now, if you're just interested in paper and um, ribbon, I have sh ribbon and paper shares coming up right here. All right, you can type that in and you'll find it. All right, you also get freebies, of course. Everything I do, I try to roll in some freebies and I use Stampin' Rewards from ordering all of that to turn that back around and give you guys Stampin' Rewards on your little little orders, little, um, you know, your club order or whatever. So anyway, details on that or message me and I can send you that link, okay? Okay, so let's see. I wanna quickly, what time is it? I wanna quickly 
run through a few things with you. I've got good prizes. I got a good prizes. Oh, also, so these catalogs, usually we get them a lot faster. I don't know, those of you who are demonstrators or watching, have you gotten your catalogs yet? I ordered them at like 5 a.m. on May 2nd and they're still not here. They are taking forever. Um, because I have to turn around and, hey, Robin, Robin just took advantage of the starter kit. Robin, did you add new pre-order things in your starter kit? Welcome to the team, my friend. Um, so yeah, Michelle, you haven't got your catalogs yet. I got a email from UPS saying I'm getting like eight boxes tomorrow. So I'm sure as I go on vacation, they're going to, they're going to come. Oh, you got your catalogs today, Susan. Okay, good. So they're out. They're coming. Terry, you got yours. So for my stamp club members, I spiral bind their catalogs for them and mail them out. So I try to do that really fast and get them out first. And then I will mail catalogs out to everybody else. If you have ordered from me in the last six months, I sent you an email to, to, with a little form telling that I want you to fill out to tell me you want a catalog. Um, because some of you don't need a catalog because you're demonstrators. Some of you have a local demonstrator who you get your catalog from. But if you want me to mail you a catalog, I'd be more than happy to. Just let me know. You can email is preferred, guys. Facebook Messenger, I never remember to check Facebook Messenger. Erica at pinkbuckaroo.com or just go over to my blog, click on message or email me and let me know you want a catalog and I'll send you that form, okay? Okay, I think I'm gonna flip the, the camera over so I, want, I can show you everything that we have down here. Um, Let's see, I've got kind of a mess. It's always a mess. I wanna show you the Everything is Rosy projects that I designed. So I'm gonna flip you guys. I almost hit finish. <laughs> I almost hung up on you guys. Oh, if it's not one technology disaster, it's the other, right? Be completely perfect on these. But I guess that's the beauty of live, right? Hello, Antoinette. I see you jumped on. I got a lot of my sweet Stampeders on here today. Hello to all of you. Um, okay, so let me tell you. Oops, oops. You might have already seen the prize. Who's getting the prize? One of them. Um, <laughs> I wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, well. Everything is rosy. You guys know. I've told you this um, every time we've talked the last few weeks. It's this new product medley that you can purchase. It's one item number and you get everything. You cannot just order the paper or order the um, shimmer paint. It's a one shot deal. You get all of this, okay? Um, and it's a little bit higher, but when you break it down, you're you're you're, you're getting a lot for, for the, uh, the price point. Um, but anyways, I promised to come up with a PDF for everybody who ordered the uh, Everything is Rosie product medley from me. And I got it done this weekend. I was said I was gonna do four projects, but I ended up doing six. Here they are. We've got a little wreath. We've got three little cards. Oh, this is randomly in here, not supposed to be there. Um, <laughs> that was my beach happy class. And then a cute little cookie holder. And then here's the stamp set. Look, all the goodies. Oh, and then here's the sixth project, a little bag. Okay, so now if you have bought the Everything is Rosie product medley from me, which is all of this, um, I emailed you the PDF yesterday. If you did not get the PDF and you purchased this from me, please email me because I'm sure I could have missed somebody easily. Um, so if you bought it already and you haven't, and you didn't get an email from me yesterday, email me. If you want to buy it, you can still buy it. It's while supplies last, but they haven't run out yet. Um, you'll see it right at the, on the store, uh, website, but, uh, the product number, if you need it, is is it backwards one five zero zero five nine? Now, if you already bought that from somebody else, or your demonstrator, you bought it from yourself, but you want that PDF of the six projects, that is available in my PDF store. So you can go get it if you want. But it's free to anybody who um, orders it from me. Now, the other thing that's free is this All Star Tutorial Bundle. 12 amazing demonstrators from all over the world. I don't think I ever point that out. Only, I think there's only, me and Dina are the only um, United States demonstrators. Maybe there's one more, I can't remember, but from all over Australia, Canada, Europe, and we come together and we design these gorgeous projects for you every month. And it's free, 
with a $50 minimum order from our online store. Um, if you order from me, then I mail it to you, email it to you. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, here's my project for this month. That is a few blog, you know, I'm realizing I didn't link it on today's post. So it's a few blog posts back um, if you're interested in it. And of course, it's always available in my PDF store. Now, that being said, again, that starter kit, when you join my team, you get all those PDFs for free. Uh, my team gets every PDF I make every month, they get them for free. It's a perk from being on my team. All right, all right, how about some prizes? Yep, here we go. Last week, needle and thread bundles, Marcy Wickham. And Marcy, I am mailing you some Facebook Friday projects from last week. So I think I'm gonna slip this in there. Actually, it's packed and ready to go, but I think I'm gonna put this in there for you. And then Rachel Burkett. Rachel, I don't have your mailing address, so if you would please message or email me, I will get that out to you. Congratulations, ladies. They either shared the video or went over to my blog and entered the little widget at the bottom. This week, it's family and friends with a chalk marker. Chalk markers are awesome. Everybody needs multiple chalk markers, in my opinion. Um, and this is that cute little set that I just haven't gotten to that I was hoping to get to, and now it's gonna be gone at the end of the month. But it's cute, and I've got two to give away, okay? So make sure you share and go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and slide to the bottom and enter your information. And I think I asked you, what did I ask this time? Oh, I can't remember. I always ask some kind of silly question. Um, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, which is what this is, except on Wednesday, I always do three projects, the PDF, and if you put your order in by Monday, May 13th at midnight, I send you the make and takes for free. Here are last week's make and takes, the ones we did with the gift bag punch board. They come like this in the mail to you. I ship them typically on Wednesday, the following Wednesday. Um, so everybody who ordered last week, thank you so much. And yours will be going out tomorrow. I was gonna do it today, but it, we have had like flooding and disgusting rain, so it didn't happen. And you have to use the host code right here. Oh, is that the wrong host code? <gasps> it's the wrong host code. Let's take it off. What host code is that? I don't even know. It's the wrong host code. <laughs> Here's the right host code. K4GPGCXX. Don't worry, it'll be on the top of this post and on my blog over there um, if you wanna put in an order by Monday and get today's projects for free next week. Now, you guys, I have to tell you a funny story. Oh, before I get to that, oh, I had one more thing I did wanna remind you about. My classes to go, real quick. I won't spend a lot of time on it. I have two that are, will ship together. This is the Flowering Desert class. It features one of the new in colors. You'll get samples of that in your class kit and the Flowering Desert stamp set. And then it has a 35 minute video tutorial showing you how to make these, including the floating frame technique that is so popular right now. And then the second class is a technique class. It's a watercolor background technique class featuring Follow Your Dreams, six cards, a 45 minute video tutorial showing you how to do five different watercolor techniques. And you're gonna get a whole pack of watercolor paper to practice and all the other things that you need um, for that. Those links are on that PDF as well as on my blog today. The deadline is May 17th, that's next Friday. So if you want these classes, make sure you register by Friday, okay? And sometimes you guys email me after the date and say, oh, do you have an extra kid? So well, I probably won't this time because, you know, it's all retiring. So I wouldn't have extra stuff around, so. Okay, today, today, today. I feel like I missed something. Did I miss something? Let's see. Thanks for sharing, all of you. Hello, 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 everybody. Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. I'm just going to look through here real, real quick. Mm -hmm. Saw the medley at your local scrapbook expo. Yeah, it's beautiful, Debbie. That that um that what am I talk? What am I thinking? That this it words are hard for me. Every t every time I do this, I don't know why. <laughs> that everything Rosie product medley is unbelievable, and I, well, I'm going to use it to make my team's birthday cards for next month. They I send them birthday cards every month, and. I am gonna use it to make the birthday cards. It's gonna be so beautiful. Okay, we're ready. Today, I am focusing on 
this framelit set and my <laughs> my friend Lois, I don't know if she's on here, she freaked me out yesterday when I posted the sneak peek um, and she said, that's not retiring. And then I realized she and I were talking about two different things, but it scared me half to death because I thought I had designed three projects with something that I said was retiring that wasn't retiring, but it is. We, our retirement list this year is super confusing because some of the things are marked retired that'll be in the new catalog in the new clean mount form. So luckily, um, I was right and I didn't make a mistake, but we're gonna actually use three different stamp sets today. My focus are these framelits. Um, the, this is the wood crate framelit set and it comes with these little random dudes because the Woodward stamp set was, it was part of a bundle when it first came out. So they cut out these things and it's a great, you can't get it in a bundle anymore. Um, it's sold separately, but it's a great, like I feel like if you get the framelits, you really need the Woodward stamp set because these are so cute and see how they're kind of rusticky and scratched off and they've got some really cute sentiments. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, the first project is just a little, it's teacher appreciation week. It's nurse, nurses appreciation week or month. Um, and I also heard it was like military um, or emergency workers. Anyway, there's a lot of people we need to show appreciation to. And this is just a fun little treat. Now it says fresh treats. And you would think you'd put that on something homemade. But how about something that's not homemade? I think it still works, right? This is just a little wood crate. And I put in here these little EOS lotions. I always see these at the store, um, you know, at the checkout counter. I'm the sucker that pulls things out there at the check -out, st check out stand. So I got that. And then a Vaseline Lip Therapy Target. Both of those are from Target. And then just a hand sanitizer. And that would be a great treat for somebody who's trying not to eat a lot of sugar, like me who's eating sugar every day, even though I'm trying not to. <laughs> okay, so let's start with, and I'm we're gonna stamp some tissue paper too, but let's start with our crate, okay? We're gonna actually, let me think, do I want to, yep, we're gonna stamp first. We're gonna use the Stamparatus, which is my favorite way to use our background stamps. We're using two background stamps today as well. We are using the hardwood, background stamp and I do believe hardwood is retiring you guys there's so many details to remember what's a girl to do I don't know I have mom brain and I can't remember it all I just cannot remember um, somebody on here is gonna know if hardwood is retiring and they're gonna tell us I feel confident in my memory that it is retiring I'm gonna stamp this in crumb cake on Thick Whisper White. I'm using Thick Whisper White because I want this basket to be a little sturdy. I'm waiting for somebody to tell me. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's retiring. Hardwood. Well, almost all of our background stamps are retiring. We've got new ones coming along. Thank you, Rick. I knew somebody was on here who would know. Yeah, I felt pretty confident. But then as soon as I say it, you know, the confidence goes out the window. <laughs> I know, and you guys will always catch me when I make my mistakes. Had to laugh yesterday. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have stamped two just quarter sheets of, of Thick Whisper White. And I'm gonna take that wood crate framelit and we're gonna cut it out. You can actually get two complete wood crates from half a sheet of cards. No, two complete crates from a full sheet of cardstock. You need two of these. So two fit, fit on half a sheet of cardstock. Now I will tell you that mine has always stuck, this paper right here and these two little things right here, they, it's always stuck there, but it just comes right out. All right, but it does cut really well. Stamp apparatus. <laughs> Oh, you ordered the Stamparatus, Michelle. Yes, Stamparatus, oh my gosh. How did we stamp without it, is what I wanna know. Before it came onto the market last year, my goodness. There were other tools, but nothing is as awesome as that Stamparatus. Okay, so we've got two of them, and we have stamped them crumb cake with a wood texture. Now, it's really relatively simple to put this together. I'm gonna to use tear and tape 
Okay, why don't I just move my adhesive basket closer? It's like way far away. All right, so I'm gonna fold these lines, and I know because I stamped, whoa, that's got ink on it. Is it dry? We better not use that. We'll use the other side. Um, I know because I stamped it, it's hard to see those score lines, but it does have the score lines for you. There's two little tabs here, and we're gonna put our tear and tape on those. I use my bone folder to spread my <laughs> ink on my ink pads. I know I'm not the only one because I've seen some of you do it. My friend Ange McKay does it and it made me feel way better when I saw her do it. But it's a problem when the ink is still on your, um, your bone folder <laughs> and you're trying to use it on your paper. That's a problem. Okay, so put your tear and tape here on these tabs. You guys, the sun is shining. I, it's so bizarre to me because it has been raining and raining and raining and disgusting for days. And we had flooding this morning here, like crazy. And right now it's beautiful and sunny, but it's supposed to storm again. Ugh. May is our stormiest month here in this, the desert South Texas. I mean, I know it's probably nothing compared to some of you guys. Okay, so we've got those tabs, right? First thing I'm gonna do, um, I peeled that off, but we're not gonna use that one yet. We're gonna set this right here, end to end, okay? And then I'm gonna fold this one over and match up the bottom. See how the top doesn't match because the ends are supposed to be higher, like the handles? So when you, when you line those up, make sure you match the bottom edges. Then, you can fold that up and push that in there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit right here. We're only keeping crackled paint, hand handwritten, and buffalo check background stamps. Thank you, Rick, yes. Those are the only three background stamps carrying over. And you guys know how I feel about background stamps. I love them. Oh, come on, behave. Oh, I didn't. I didn't score that, or that's why. There, and you just push that in, and there you've got the bottom. And it's just a little crate. It's just so stinking cute. I love it. Okay, now we've got that done. Let's stamp the other background stamp. And I'm not gonna clean that right now. So let's grab this one. And I will tell you that my intention was to stamp white tissue paper. However, there was no white tissue paper to be had in this house. Um, so <laughs> I will admit that this little off-white tissue paper came off my mother's Mother's Day gift. Don't tell her. She's probably watching. Maybe not. She may not be listening, but I took it out of her gift because where I bought her gift, it had tissue paper in it. So we're using off-white, but you know what? Look, you can't even tell when it's in there. But anyway, I would use white if you had white. And I cut the piece of tissue paper, um, you know, just regular gift tissue paper from the, the store, you know, the grocery store. Um, and I cut it to the size of two of these stamps, which is about nine by six. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just tissue paper. Oh, good grief. That's why I have duct tape on them. Now I'm just gonna, see how I can see where the stamp is? You can just do that on your Stamparatus grid paper so you know where to put it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Again, it's just tissue paper. Highland Heather is what I'm using. I didn't mention that. Birch and all wired up background stamps. Birch, that's a new one, and all wired up. I can't think of what that one is. What do you have on your Stamparatus magnets? It's, um, Lori, it's duct tape folded in half because when they together like they just did, it makes it easier to pull them apart and it keeps them from breaking when they do that. All right, so guys, look, that's all I did. Just stamped the tissue paper. No big deal, right? Pretty simple. All right, and so we're going to, and it does take a little bit of time to actually dry. Not really that long, just be careful. So then I'm just gonna put it in here. Let's do it this way, like that. 
All right, there we go. Now you can put whatever you want in here. You could put cookies. That would be cute with some like lemon cookies. But like I said, I have a little EOS lotion. I'm gonna send these to school tomorrow. The little Vaseline and just hand sanitizer. And I don't have hand sanitizer that matches. I just pulled it out of my cabinet. I didn't have time to go and buy something that matches, but there we go, okay? Now let's make the tag real quick. Um, we're gonna use two stamps from Woodward's. We're using, and actually, where is my grid paper? We're using the heart, and these have a scratchy texture. That's the, it's supposed to be like that because it's like a distressed kind of, you know, farmhouse look. So you'll see how it stamps with that um, little scratchy texture. It's supposed to be like that. I like it. All right, so that is a the third largest stitched circle, Whisper White. And I'm gonna stamp one on scrap paper. And then if I haven't lost it, oh goodness, here it is. I have cut out this little banner. Oh no, I've got it on my hands. I have um, cut out this little banner using the Lakeside Framelits. Those are the ones that have you know, the bird and the grass, um, the little water in the annual catalog. Uh oh, I don't think I did that right. Mm, I don't like it. So anyway, Whisper White, and now I'm using Flirty Flamingo, and that one's not even good either, but we're going with it because I tried to do it ahead of time so that we didn't have to cut too many things out. Now, attaching vellum can be an issue, but luckily, this is a two and a fourth inch vellum circle on this, if you have fast fuse, guys, it, it works great, unless it's a dark color. Um, but this one, you can put your adhesive there um, because you're gonna cover it up with this other little thing here. So I'm gonna take this little banner. Hello, Mary, thank you. Yeah, Lori, do that to yours for sure. Put that on your magnets, it helps. Because, you know, you think, oh, I'm going to be very careful and my magnets aren't going to snap together. Baloney. I could tell you right now <laughs> that's baloney. You start working, you're not thinking, and all of a sudden your magnets snap together. And that duct tape is really strong and it'll keep them from shattering. And... I mean, I'm not guaranteeing that they won't, but mine have slammed together several times, many times, and they have not shattered. And it also just makes it a lot easier to pull them apart. So I got cute duct tape and did it with cute duct tape. I think, was it Carla? Who was it? Or was it um, somebody was telling me about cute duct tape at, it wasn't, who was it? I can't remember. Um, cute duct tape at Michael's. So I went and I picked out some cute duct tape. Okay, last but not least, let's make a little bow with our linen thread. I have been going through some linen thread lately. I'm almost out again. I thought linen thread was good with this kind of rustic, you know, this rustic feel. All right, where did I put it? Over here on the side. All right, last but not least, let's attach it to our basket. You guys, last night, my husband and I went and saw Hamilton. Hamilton, you know, the Broadway show, is here in town. And all day I am thinking in rap verse, you know, like they were singing last night. It was so good. So all day I'm like, in my mind, <laughs> that's how my thoughts are coming out. Oh, so if I break out and rap, please cover your ears. Okay, you guys, there it is, first project. Just your standard, normal little wood crate. Very, very cute in the purples. Cookies would be cute, but you don't have to do ha homemade cookies. You can just do a little pampering basket. What do you guys think? I like the colors. All right, now let's do a card with the basket. It doesn't have to make just 3D items, although it makes wonderful 3D items. Let me clean up my mess just a little bit so I have room. Let's move, let's see, we're gonna need that background stamp again. So let me leave that, that, that. Hamilton was so, 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 so good. My husband um, 
he's a dude that's what I always say he's a guy's guy to the fullest extent he hunts he fishes he's a guy right but he loves going to the theater. <laughs> he does. I, I sometimes think he loves it more than I do, which I just find funny. I love it. I love that he loves it. Okay, our next card. Whoops. We are doing a card using that crate. And this time I've paired it with floral frames and the foliage frames, framelits that go with it. I did a whole Facebook Friday on this in the summer if you want to look at it. These are retiring too, and I had to go back and double check because I am shocked that this is retiring. I love it so much. I really, I thought it was pretty popular, and I'm surprised that it's leaving. Okay, let's make this little part first. Now, there's a sneaky peek in here of one of our new in colors. Um, let me show you. This is Gorgeous Grape, which we've had. Highland Heather, and this is the new Purple Posy. Hello. It's like the angels were singing. It's perfect. The three colors go together beautifully. And then you add in soft sea foam, and I mean, I could make every project for the rest of my life in these colors. They're so beautiful. Okay, so we're going to first, let's do our stamping and die cutting. We're gonna stamp this little flower cluster and this little flower cluster on each of these. And I'm going to use my Highland Heather ink on our Purple Posy ink, um, cardstock. Because if you get these projects next week um, free because you've placed an order with me, I want you to see that you don't have to necessarily have the Highland Heather, I mean the Purple Posy ink. You can use Highland Heather on it. And I'm looking for my gorgeous grape ink pads. Did I already use it? It's totally missing. It's gone. So, okay, we'll use Highland Heather on all three. No problem. But yeah, these um, three purples go together beautifully. All right, so let's bring the big guy back over and we will cut these out. And while we're cutting these out, we're also going to cut out two of the leaves while we go. These are the little leaves we're going to use. I'm going to use, I'm going to cut out four of them. You could do more or less, whichever you feel like adding to your crate. My framelits are such a mess. They are ready for me to clean out for the new catalog. I need to get organized. By this time of the year, my framelits are oh, mixed up and they're with other framelits and they're on the bottom of the box <laughs> they just out they're everywhere so don't look closely when you look at my little framelit um magnet sheets because who knows what's there it may not be necessarily what is supposed to be together but that's why i have a bogo sale in the very beginning of june and de oh details are coming out guys i have that planned and i just haven't announced it but um, BOGO sale locally will be the Saturday right before the new catalog comes out. What's that date? The 1st, June 1st. And then online, it'll be later this summer. I will do a BOGO this summer. And you get free product, free new product with a purchase of retired product or vice versa. Free retired product with a purchase of new products, whichever way you want to look at it. All right, one more. We gotta do one more. Let's move these over. I thought about doing these ahead of time. I thought this might take a little a little while, but it gives us a chance to chat about things. All right. Now, there we go. Oops. If your framelit jumps, move your paper. You're not going to make it stay. You just gotta follow the magnet where it wants to go. Kathy, I love these guys too. Perfect for teacher appreciation, Andrea. Yep. I um, what did I send today? Oh, I went to a little, what did they call it? It wasn't a craft fair, it was like a artisan market last weekend, and there was a lady there making cute little desk name tags for teachers. So that's what we sent today. Okay, now I have cut out one crate from gray granite just one just one half I'm gonna cut off the bottom and then over here I'm gonna cut off part of it and 
I'm gonna cut it at an angle like that. So it's kind of the same. See how there's two tabs on each side? But before, before I do that, we're gonna emboss it. And I wanna tell you that the stamp set that I am using, um, this, well not the stamp set, the stamp that I'm using, I have a really hard time stamping it straight. I don't know why. And I think part of it is because it has that big swirl. So I rubbed it with the embossing buddy. And I'm gonna try my best to stamp it in Versamark. Um, yeah, it's very crooked. <laughs> if I was really wanting to make sure it was perfect, which, how bad is it? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's do the back. Let's try the back. Um, the stamp apparatus would be good for that. You could really get it lined up, but I'm not gonna take the time to do that. Okay, one more. I need to make sure that this side goes down. Oh yeah, well, whatever, we're going with it. We're just gonna go with it. All right, so Versamark, white embossing powder, crooked sentiment, you know, that's how we roll. That's how we're rolling today. Uh, let's see, now I'm gonna have to grab my heat tool. Hopefully it doesn't shake the camera because they're all tangled together. Let's heat it with a heat tool. Yeah, Sarah, that um, tissue paper is so cute. I got that idea from a paper pumpkin last year um, that came with um, gingham tissue paper. Do you guys remember the one I'm talking about? It was like a picnic theme. And I thought, well, I can just stamp my own tissue paper when I run out of that. And that's what I've been doing. Hold on a sec. Super thirsty. Sorry. All right, let's fold in these tabs like that. Tear and tape. Now, next week, you guys, I think I'm just going to be live on Friday. I don't think there's going to be a Tuesday live, although I might. We'll just have to see. But I'm just, as of right now, going to say probably just Friday next week. Being out of town is going to cause me to be behind on everything else, and I'm not sure I can get all those projects designed in time. I have my team meeting on Monday, so Monday will be busy preparing for that. So let's just say next week is Facebook Friday only. And if I change my mind, I'll just surprise you. All right, we're going to adhere that. See how it's kind of popping out? I fold it in the tabs, put the adhesive on the tabs, and it's kind of rounded. It gives it a little bit of a 3D effect. This is a four by four piece of Whisper White. Now, let me look at my sample so I can remember how I arranged these, because it did take me a while to figure out exactly how I wanted it. Let's start with Gorgeous Grape in the back. And I'm gonna do this flat, and I'm gonna kind of put it up like that. And then we're gonna get a Purple Posy stamped with Highland Heather, like that. And then a Highland Heather, stamped with Highland Heather, like that. Now I'm gonna get some dimensionals for the rest. And we will put these, uh-oh, what's that sound? Oh, UPS is here, you know what that means. Charlie, go outside, go outside, buddy. Go bark outside. He loves the UPS man. There we go, that one. See, the ones in the front are gonna have dimensionals. Charlie, go outside. Go see, go outside. He's like, I'm not going to the backyard when this guy's attacking the house, the front. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't you do it. His brother already went outside, he knew. All right, now I'm gonna take the little soft sea foam and let's see, we're just gonna kind of stick them coming in. Charlie. All right, crisis averted. The UPS man did not attack. He just dropped something off. Imagine that. Schnauzers, guys. Anybody else have schnauzers? Yeah, they're crazy. Crazy. Okay, now I'm just putting these in. I feel like this is taking forever, this project. I don't know why. There we go. One more this time. 
I'm going to slide this in like that so it's kind of poking out. So cute. Now, a little bow. And you guys, just a heads up, I think I have enough of this to fill my Facebook Friday orders. But if your Facebook Friday order comes and you have a different ribbon, I apologize. Because this says retiring this tool and I cannot order another bolt of it and then have an entire bolt left over. Okay, there we go. The tool polka dot ribbon, which is wispy and fun. I know, Kathy, he thinks he's doing his job. Stinker. All right, there we go. Cute, right? Now, let's do our buffalo check background. And I already have it. Yes, we're talking about you, buddy. Yeah, everybody's very impressed with your guard dog skills. Mm-hmm. Very impressed. All right, so I can see where this is going to stamp. So I'm just going to lay it in. This is a Highland Heather um, card base. And... I wasn't expecting an order today. I wonder what it is. I don't think it's stamping up. Highland Heather on Highland Heather cardstock with that buffalo. <laughs> Danette, I'm sorry. Yes, it's like the, the call of the schnauzers. They hear each other and they must all come bark at absolutely nothing. I know. <laughs> um, Judy, it's not? What? See? All right. Are you serious? I totally thought it was retiring. Well, that's good to know. All right. Well, Tool Ribbon is not retiring. Excellent. Because it goes really well on whimsy, um, you know, like wedding cards. and. All right. Well, good. I'm glad. See, you guys? I told you I'm not perfect. I can't memorize the whole list. I only see the things that I really care about. Everything else I don't even notice. <laughs> All right, well, good news. It's not retiring. All right, we're gonna put this on this with dimensionals and done. Pretty, right? So you don't have to just make three dimensional projects with your wood crate framelits. It makes a cute little card. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got some weird tickle in my throat. Oh. Here's gorgeous grape. I decided to show up. All right, one more project. What time is it? Oh, I am flying through. I feel like I was taking a really long time and I gotta be done by three, but I think we're gonna make it. All right, now you guys are gonna laugh at the next project. I think you're gonna like it. Do you remember back in November, that rhymes, remember in November when we made the boozy hot chocolate? Uh-huh, many of you remember because you went crazy for it. We're gonna do a boozy pool party treat box, all right? So here it is, and I will tell you that I had these left over from that project. Actually, somebody gave me this last year um, for fifth grade promotion, <laughs> another mom, she was like handing them out. Here you go, guys. I guess she was expecting us to be sad, but I haven't done anything with it. Blue Chair Bay, Key Lime Rum Cream. Yummy. Maybe I need to take that to the beach. And then this one is Rum Chata. These are from the liquor store. That's all I know. Don't, don't send me emails. I don't know. Go to your liquor store and see what cute little samples they have. If you don't want to do liquor, don't do liquor. You can get bubbles. You could put bubbles here. You could put um, the little jelly bean, you know, they come like soda, little jelly bean soda things. But I was thinking this would be fun for a adult pool party, right? Okay, so notice the box is bigger. I'm going to show you how to make it bigger and I'm going to show you how to make this little holder. Also in here, I threw in just a little, you know, little... Um, suntan lotion again target cvs walgreens wherever you can get sunscreen that's where you get that this are these are key lime candies have you had these you get them like at the restaurant on the way out sometimes they're delicious charlie we've had enough buddy go oh, it's fedex this time but they're not here they're next door um you can get these on amazon just type in key lime candy um, they are delicious. This in this bag is a two by eight cello bag that is retiring. Right, guys, please tell me I'm right. 
two by eight. I put on just two little paper straws that you can get at any party store. And of course you need an umbrella, a drink umbrella. Tie them on to the little two by eight cello bag. Put that in there. And then some coconut lime gum, right? That's That goes well with the pool party. And these are those Project 7. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Target. Okay, so that's the boozy pool party treat. <laughs> <laughs> um, that'll show you how much I drink. The fact that I have these left from November, I don't really drink that much. I had them for projects. Um, but if you are having a fun summer grown up pool party, this would be really fun. We're going to also use Tropical Chic. Uh, tropical Chic. Tropical Chic? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, this is carrying over. It looks like it's retiring, but the reason it looks like it's retiring is because the clear mount and wood mount are retiring and it's just coming back in um, cling mount form, okay? So it's not really going away. Okay, let's make the box. By the way, here it is in, in soft suede. I first made it in soft suede, but then I decided to make it a tropical treat and I changed it to whisper white, okay? So see, it's cute in any color. So what you're gonna do for your box, you need to cut out four of these, okay? So you'll need one full sheet of cardstock. And we're going to cut off this whole side right here. Okay, we're gonna cut that off. And then, I'm making sure I'm doing the right way. And then we're gonna cut off the bottom tab here. Okay, so that's what you're gonna have. On all four of them, you cut that handle, the handle side, and the bottom tab. That ink on my fingers is driving me crazy. And somebody's gonna say, you had dirty hands when you were making your video. If that's you, just go ahead and go watch somebody else because I have ink, they're not dirty. It's been a long week already, guys. <laughs> Can you tell? I know, people, people. All right, so we've done that. Now we're just going to adhere these all the way like that, end to end to end, okay? So again, with the tear and tape, which is right here. Tear and tape is perfect for these crates because it fits on that tab perfectly. It's the perfect size. Thanks, Carla. <laughs> Shannon, if you get happy, you won't get burned right. You know, it's funny you say that because I got a really bad sunburn on Sunday. We went to this local event here. It's um, a yearly little, I don't know, carnival, festival, whatever. And I got burned so badly and I don't typically get sunburned. <sighs> Maybe that was my problem, huh? Nobody else got a sunburn. All right, so see what I'm doing? I'm peeling these off. We're going end to end like this. So we have four. This kind of reminds me of like a corral, an animal corral, <laughs> especially the brown one. All right, so I should use my bone folder, but I'm just gonna do it with my fingers because I'm feeling now like I gotta hurry. All right, now we're gonna fold all of these right there on that tab. And yes, use your bone folder if you're making these so it'll be nice and crisp. Okay, now we're gonna take the last one. I know, Debbie, I know, you'd be surprised. Yep, I know. You would be surprised at what people say. Keyboard courage, I call it. All right, now we're gonna put the this end over end and Look at that. Doesn't it look like a little corral where animals would be? <laughs> now, you can tell what we're gonna do. We're just gonna fold those in, right? And we're gonna put adhesive, and I'm going back to my Fast Fuse. My Fast Fuse drawer is getting very low. It's beginning to become crisis level. All right, there you have it. So there, that's how you make a big box. So if you don't wanna put the little drink holder, the little bottle holder, you don't have to. You could just do it like that and fill it up. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to make that drink holder if I can find my simple scored. 
All right, you're gonna take this piece. And this is, this is really the only measurement that you need this week on my projects. Let's look. I hope for some reason it looks big. Let's see. Seven and a half by three and a fourth. We're gonna score it at half. That is not right, I don't think. I'm gonna have to cut it down, hold on. Half by two, half inch, two inch, and then five and a fourth. Yeah, it's way too big. Five and a fourth and seven. All right, hold please while I cut it down. That measurement is incorrect. I believe that is two inches, but we better measure it. We better measure it. Who knows what I was doing when I typed that up? Two inches. All right, so the correct, uh-oh, I have a small paper cutter. The correct measurement on this cardstock should be two inches by seven and a half. Everything else is right. All right, so now you're gonna take your one and three eighths scalloped circle punch, and I want you to just punch out from scrap paper, okay? This is gonna help us get these circles perfectly placed. All right, so adhere them just a little bit of adhesive right there, get them centered, whoops. Get them centered, not too close, not too far. Then take your punch again and punch them right out of that center section. Oh, come on. And it's difficult because mine have been punched several times. I need to start over, too thick. All right, now let's fold it in and you're gonna just fold it like a little table, which essentially is what it is, see? You're gonna stick it down into your crate like that. So put some adhesive here and here. You can also put a little bit of adhesive here and here just to stick it to the sides. Now get it ready so it looks like a little table. And I think I'm gonna go this way and down. And you push those little feet into the bottom and there you have it. All right, now, come on. Don't mind me, I'm just ripping things apart. There we go, see, and that's how it holds your little things. Now, if you're, whatever you get, if you don't use these, you can just go to your punches and see where they'll fit. Uh, the circle, I didn't have a circle that was the right size, but that, I really like the scallop circles to hold things like that because they kind of, I feel like it kind of grips it a little bit. All right, so there's that part. Now we need to make the front part, which is super easy. We're just going to use our cute little tropical chic stamps and we're using our beautiful, lovely, retiring lemon lime twist. And we are going to use garden, not garden green, goodness, granny apple green. Oh, I put those really close together. That's probably not gonna be well, be good on the, on the big shot, but we'll try. And then last but not least, now this flower, this tropical flower probably should be pink, right? Isn't that what you would like originally think? Highland Heather, where did you go? Um, but because my other projects, here it is, because my other projects were using the purples, I wanted to stick with the purples. Ah, uh, thanks, Kathy. All right, so there's the little tropical flower. Now, bring the big shot back over. Okay, Erica, clean up after yourself. Don't make such a giant mess. My dimensionals are sticking to the bottom. I'm gonna be looking for those. Here are the matching framelits. Now, so Tropical Chic is coming back as a cling mount, which means the um, you can put the stickers on your stamps and it will stick better. But it won't be in a bundle, at a bundle price. You only get that bundle price if you buy it in this catalog. And the bundle price is 10% off. So 
if you haven't bought it and you've been thinking about it, you kind of need to decide. Do you want to get it at a 10% discount or do you want to wait and get the clean mount in the new catalog? Same images, just it'll, they stick a little bit better. All right, what else? We need to, we need to cut out one of these little fronds <laughs> from Granny Apple and Lemon Lime. So did I hear Lemon Lime Twist cardstock is sold out already? Those in colors usually do sell out. I don't know. Keyboard Courage Gale, yes. Uh-huh, it's prevalent. People have it. Oh, look at that disaster. Well, good thing we have more white cardstock. I don't know why people think that they can say things online, but they would never <clears throat> say to your face. I will never understand that. <sighs> It's a sad state of affairs these days, and I don't know. Don't get me going. I'll sound like a grouchy old lady. All right, so we got that, we got that. Let's do one more of these. This is my favorite one. This is the one I use all the time. And then I think that's it. What's going on with my voice? Something is weird. I've got this weird tickle going on. Maybe it was the late night Hamilton singing. You guys, have any of you seen Hamilton yet? It's touring now. We tried to go see it in New York, but we were not willing to pay $600 a ticket. So we waited. And my husband bought these tickets for me for Valentine's Day 2018. It was a season pass for the theater. And that's what I wanted because I wanted a guaranteed good seats. So finally, I was joking last night, happy Valentine's Day. All right, now we need a piece of, where is that whisper white? Right here, we're gonna stamp the sentiment. And you could of course change this. What are we going to do without lemon lime twist? Sarah, I, I, I can't even speak about it, I don't know. Granny apple green is a great color and I think it's going to make it okay. Yes, it's not the same. However, it is a great color. Uh, you know, every now and then, Stampin' Up! brings in colors back when they do a color refresh. So, we all just need to pray and light a candle for Lemon Lime Twist to make its way back. You know, the wheels are coming off here, guys. Everything is everywhere, and I don't know where anything is. Third project. Ooh, and it's three o'clock. We gotta hurry. Although it's sunny, I think my daughter can ride her bike. She's gotten very demanding lately. She wants me to pick her up on her bike. Kids. So silly. Our school is only half a mile away. It's not that far. Okay, so we're just gonna layer these up. I'm gonna use some dimensionals. Oh goodness, 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 where is everything? I'm gonna put some dimensionals here and I'm gonna quickly layer these like this. Oh, I think I did too many lemon lime twist things. Not enough granny apple. All right, whatever, it's fine. Let's change it. Let's put this one right here like that. So we have some color variation and we will put another dimensional in the back like that. And this guy can be coming up right there. Okay, one more. And then, and did you guys see I punched the ends with my Taylor Tag Punch? That's how I made those cute little um, flag ends with our purple tropical flower, because why not? And then all you gotta do is add another dimensional and you've got a boozy pool party treat holder, just like that. Oh, did I do a bow? No, no. The bow, only bow I did was on the the little 2x8 cello bag. So you guys, cute, right? Super cute. And you know what? If you were having a real serious party, you could add in another one right here <laughs> and have four. I don't know. That probably would not be a safe party. I'm not sure. But anyways, cute, right? 
kick off the summer. This will make a great teacher treat too. If you know the teacher well, you could, you know, pass this off to her at the end of the day. She'd probably like you quite a bit. <laughs> okay, you guys, that is it for today. The wood crate framelits are awesome. You need them in your life before they are gone. So if you haven't ordered them, or if you just haven't ordered something and you want to order it, put your order in by Monday at midnight. Use that postcode right there, and then I'll put it up in the video description when I'm done. And I'll send you the make and takes, the, the uh, materials to make all three of these next week with your um, wood crate framelit. All right, you guys. All right, so next week, Friday, I will be back at two o'clock on Friday. Um, I'm just real quickly looking to see if I missed any questions. I don't think I did. I was trying to watch. Ah, Christine clarified for us. The very vanilla polka dot tool ribbon is retiring. The whisper white is staying. Okay, so I was half right. Half right. I knew I saw it somewhere. Thank you for clarifying that. You guys were awesome today. I hope you have a great weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms, and I will see you next week. Don't forget to go enter um, over on my blog for the prize and share the video and get your PDF. Bye, guys. Thanks so much. Talk to you next week. Bye.